What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. This is a question I get asked all the time and I wanted to answer it today. So with that being said, let's jump right into this video. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'm always I'm putting out at least one video a week, giving you guys absolutely free content that's gonna help you guys, whether it's long term, short term, just in finance and, and everything like that. So with that being said, let's jump back to the video. What's up guys? Long term or short term? Or not just long term or short term. I get that question a lot too, but am I long biased or short biased? Now what does that mean for new traders? Anybody that's out there more than likely is going, well, what is shorting? Shorting is betting that a stock is going down. And then I always get the question right after that is, how is it okay to bet against companies and hope that they fail? Well, my analogy that I've always used in comparison is, how many of you guys bet on sports or, you know, things like that? You know, there's two teams, you bet on one to win, you bet on one to lose. You're doing the same thing. And some of these companies on the market are absolute junk. You can look them up on Google Maps and stuff and they're out of a little 100 by 100 warehouse that doesn't really do anything. And th that's not all companies. Apple, Microsoft, your blue chips, things like that. Those are really, really good companies. And nobody's gonna argue there. But you can still bet against these companies and still make some money. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a free economy. It's built so that you can do that. Now, you can lose a lot of money doing it as well. I'm 100% transparent. But when it comes down to me, am I long biased or am I short biased? I'm neither. I am 100%. If you would have asked me when I was trading penny stocks instead of trading actual good companies and things like that and trading options when I first began, I was very, very short biased and I made a lot of money shorting. Now that I'm more of, I don't care what the direction is, I just want to be right. And I think that's where more people should be. Instead of always thinking the market's going down or the market's going up, instead, you should just be realistic in what is the market giving you. That is the most important concept I think that people miss is, you know, you shouldn't be focused on one direction always. You should be focused on where is the money to be made. You know, what's giving you opportunity? What's fitting, for me, what's fitting my strategy? So that's exactly how I take trades. If it fits my strategy going up, I can take it. If it fits my strategy going down, I can take it. If not, then I don't take a trade, guys. And that I think that is the biggest piece most people are missing. And I know I'm not in a fancy studio right now. Again, I just moved to Houston and everything. I'm in my truck. We're gonna do a lot more truck talks more than likely, but where should you be putting your money is a question that everybody asks and that's a whole different video but again when it comes down to it most of you guys are trading short term or you know intermediate kind of things where you're holding a week you're not necessarily day trading but some of you guys are day trading as well again don't always first of all it's hard to go against the fed just so you guys know if you guys don't know what the fed is then you guys shouldn't be trading 100 percent yet um but that's neither here nor there you guys should be doing a lot more research. You guys, not only should you guys be doing research, but you guys should be doing analysis, doing your due diligence, knowing, you know, what are the odds, guys? The stocks, honestly, the only reason I have been successful other than finding an amazing strategy that works day in and day out for me is to also know what the odds are of winning. You guys have to remember that, guys. Everything's a numbers game in the market. Yes, you're not going to win every single trade. That's not gonna happen, guys. I'm here to personally tell you that. I do this for a living. I don't win every single trade. I have losses. But you gotta make sure your winners are way bigger than your losses. And that's a thing that a lot of you guys have to remember, too. And on top of that, guys, again, it's all about the numbers. What are the numbers saying? What are the numbers telling you? How can you make money based off of what the market is giving you and what the market is telling you? Guys, there's a lot of big things that are coming up here in the next week or so. You got jobs reports coming back out. This COVID thing's ramping back, out, back up. Um, I love every single one of you guys. I want you guys to make money. It's up to you guys to get the knowledge, to learn how to use it, utilize it and then just do it create us not not creating a system but creating a plan 
to put it in a place. It doesn't mean you have to have an exact to a T plan of, you know, when you're gonna take a trade because different trades pop up in different times and different examples. But knowing, you know, what percentage of your account you're going to risk, meaning what percentage are you going to put into a trade? What percentage are you going to be willing to lose? You know, again, risk reward ratio. Um, how much cash are you always going to keep liquid? That's a big thing that a lot of traders don't do. And I hate to tell you guys this, but I'm always a little partially liquid, guys. I always want to make sure, yes, I know if when my bank, when my money's not working for me, I'm losing money. But when I have a very small percentage of it liquid, I'm willing to take those risks. And right now, I'm actually more liquid than I was a couple weeks ago, a lot more, because I've sold Apple. I've sold Microsoft. Um, well, I sold Spy that I bought in my longer term accounts and stuff um, about a month or so, maybe over a month now. Again, I don't know on the timeline. Um, I can tell you exactly where I entered. But guys, those are the biggest things that you guys need to be doing. I know this isn't a fancy video. I don't have any fancy backgrounds or anything like that. I hope one of you guys gets what I'm saying here. Take something from this. If I can just help one person, guys, I'm happy. With that being said, guys, thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.